exhausting. Welcome to the Plus Tainment Show, another edition of the Plus Tainment Show. My name is We're on. We are live. Oh my god, it's dark in here. I got these 3D glasses from that Avengers thing. Did you see How that? How are you doing? Thing? No, I haven't What's seen it? it. Is it any good? I heard it made money. I, don't, I didn't see it either. I just, I just got them. I heard it made scads and scads of money. I, I hear the, the director and producer just cutting themselves on a pile of money they jumped on. I like your earrings. Nice to uh, nice much. that you that you chose beautiful earrings this week. Well, I, I wanted to wear something special. You should you should wear special things. Uh, Jeremy Hall is, is Scott Shera and hey, Scott. Uh, hey, they're all watching us. John Wesh. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. <laughs> Are you okay, uh, Jane? You sound a little. Uh, a little I, I'm, I'm not out of breath. A little bit. Oh. Uh, Mikowski, is that you? Oh. Uh, is that how you feel about the Avengers? Uh, I hey, Mikowski, I heard your parents were killed in a roller coaster accident. True or false? Oh, I can't believe Jane's in the bathtub. <laughs> All right. So what you're hearing is Matt Mikowski not fully pleasing himself uh, in the way that you think. I think he's just uh, letting his prostate out. That's all. Uh, Jane, you're not a doctor, are you? Yes, I am a doctor. Well, how would, would you like describe? To see me operate? I would like to see. Do you have any bubbles that you can share with the public? I do. Is Bubbles the girl next door? Oh, I guess not. All right. Yeah. My bubbles. We are live. This is the plus show. I guess I should show. blow them off, shouldn't I? Nice. Bubbles. Welcome to the craziness that is the plus tainment show. Yeah, everything you heard about our show is true and more. And uh, we you know, everybody, the every, where's, Where is my other boyfriend? I only have two of them here. I can hear one, I can see one, but I'm missing a third. Help me release from the last three weeks of trying. Now, Matt Mikowski is a pilot. He doesn't get to fly much. But what I do. But when he does, he looks like that. Scary. Yeah. Mikowski, you okay? What happened? Sounds like you uh, drank a lot of water today. Have you noticed your uh, girlfriend is in the bathtub, buddy? Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> notice that. It's so dark. Avenger. Oh my god, you're not, you're in the bathtub? Wow, I'm in the weird. bathtub. You think I just have bubbles everywhere I go? No, I, I thought you bubbles did. is one of my nicknames. You know, you know what's weird? We're talking Avengers and I see Mikowski's wearing a super shirt. That's kind of weird. Well, he is a superman. Super Ooh, All the way down. All the, all the way All right, that's down. all we have time for. Nice to, uh, I mean. Nice. Hey, look, nice wait, shot. did someone invite Polly to the same up? I hope that, I am not satisfied unless I have all three. Hello, oh. hello, hi, hi. everybody. Uh, I'm ready for the bubble bath. Oh. I got my towel like, on my head. I got my towel on my body. Oh my goodness! I think I just did a nip slip. <laughs> Paul, I appreciate you shaving for the show. Yes, nice. well, you know, it's all natural. <laughs> oh Polly, when's our mini petty tomorrow? Oh, I'm not getting a Manny Petty. You know what they say, Janie. Manny Petty, waxy tranny. <laughs> Can I speak to uh, Paulie's friend? Hey, what's going on? How are you guys doing tonight? Hey, Paulie, how are you? I enjoy the towel. I, I Ferris Bueller reference. I like. Hey, Paulie. Yeah, it's uh, it's. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a little big. It's a little ridiculous, but uh, you know, it's the whole bubble bath thing. I wanted to get in the tub with Janie Paulie, there, and would you, uh, yeah. would you do me a favor? I doubt it, honey. She said she but go ahead to do and her. ask. Would you take the towels off? Her favorite? No, 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 no. There'll be no the towels coming off. Oh, no, no, no. Do you want me to take this one off? I can take this one off. start with that. Janie, you're the star. You're the star. We can take that one off. There you go. All right. Now, could you just, there you could you just lower the other one, maybe? Just drop it? No, honey, there this are is, uh, rules. This is an actual okay? show. I mean, this is oh, not, uh, wow. I can't expose myself. My God, don't you see how closely I'm clutching this towel to my body? Hey, just out of curiosity, everyone, if you're watching, do you want to see Janie in the bathtub? Do you want to see Matt Mikowski actually appear on screen, or do you want to see Holly? There you go. I don't know. And there's all one and a half. So Jane. <laughs> Jane, how's the water down there? Is it is it warm? It is warm. It's the perfect temperature. Yeah. There you go. Oh, now, splish splash, babe. Taking a bath. So now, <laughs> did you ever think in your wildest mind that you would one day be in a bathtub on Google Plus? Yes, I thought that when I was about fifteen. <laughs> I knew Google Plus. You were an advanced fifteen year old. <laughs> And I thought, you know what I want to do? I want to take a bubble bath on Google+, Plus, put it on YouTube, and that way my kids could see it. Oh, that would be awesome. Janie, that is exactly what I wanted when I was 15. <gasps> oh, you know, my God, girlfriend. Those, those 15 years have flown by. 
Yeah. When when I was 15, you were only like two, though. I know. I know. It's rough. It's rough being that way. How are you, Rappo? It's so good to see you. I love you. I love your hair. You look fantastic, honey. What happened to uh, Mikowski? Did he have to go take a flight? Well, this is what happens when Paulie's here. Mikowski gets jealous, and he oh. feels like they need to leave. Oh, he doesn't, okay, like, okay. He doesn't like to oh, share the spotlight oh. with Paulie. Mikowski is such a pretty boy. I wish he would come back on the camera, though. I, I can tell you guys what I'm doing between Jane and Paulie. I cannot... Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it my prediction oh, that Mikowski's going to come out with a, with a shirt off? Is that what's going to happen? Man. He's the one that gets naked all the time on the show. I don't want I'm you to look away over what I'm doing, Rappaport. You know, Listen, um, Paul is a sexy beast, according to PO 150 and uh, uh, <laughs> You know, Rappa's shirt kind of matches your backdrop, Chloe. I tried. Yeah. Is so, that, uh, is that uh, well, I can't say the name of the color. It's an actual manufacturer's color, and we don't have the copyright license, so we're not going to do that. <clears throat> say the name. By the jungle name. Trail. Say jungle Trail. That jungle sounds trail. like a sexual Home Depot shop. Jungle Trail. Well, oh, show them the trail. Show them your trail. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. no. Oh, come on, no, no, we do it every week. Come on. Come that's on. a horrible Native American reference. I'm not going to do that. That is a horrible Native American. I just called it a trail. I know, Janie, but there's really nothing on under this towel, okay? So I can't really do that for you. Well, that's your fault. If I, if I did that, the trail would lead the whole way home. We're live on the Plus Payment Show. Those of you watching on YouTube, we appreciate it. Those of you watching on Google Plus that are saying, what WTF? Why are you talking letters? What is with the OMG and the WTF? Is that is that something you two, Jane and Ellen, do they do that down in Tennessee with the, with the letters? Uh, they do the... The, the letters, the O-O-O-M-G, WTF, WTH. Janie, is that a um? A ball, a blue knee? ball. Did I did I just see oh, a knee? I do have a knee here. My knee. Wow. I have a knee. Here. Oh my. My knee. So so it's kind of hot. It's it's almost summertime, and we just yeah. had to see a summer show. Uh, very nipply here, as you can tell. <laughs> and uh, everyone has lost it. Mikowski, that looks like Mikowski, but it's actually an alien. And that's from, that's from uh, the Quick, new story. I had to call and alert his wife and children so they can enjoy this show. Um, when I started the Plus Tamer show, my vision was kind of not this. <laughs> it's but, you know. a little you know bit what? kind of um, Cougar that. Town is kind of slipping in the ratings, so... We can we can pick it back up. Uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's Cougar. I don't. I love that. That's you know it's funny. We have Cougar Down. It was a show about a Cougar going after young guys. I don't think no, they because that uh, right. what they started doing this year is when they show the title, which lasts about fifteen seconds. They now have written something under it, and it says, uh, "Should we change the name of the show because she's going to marry a man her own age now?" Was one of the things there. I was like, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So am I am like am I supposed to get into the bathtub or something? I mean, yes. I'm just kind of yes. sitting here. And yeah, there, if you I, like to, that's your own call. As long as we don't have to witness the entire. Heading uh, zero two zero JetBlue six sixty five. That's So uh, for those of you that don't know, Matt Mikowski flies planes not for a living because he's bored, and uh, they don't pay him to do it. They actually want him to go away. <laughs> he keeps coming you know, back. JetBlue watches him. He, they, they are yeah. the watchers. The He's the watchers. watchers. This is show number 11, and I, my birthday is on the 11th, so what are the chances of that? That's coming I up. know. I, I, I know, know. and and Mikowski's birthday is coming up as well on the 13th. Nice. I'm going to be 24, and Mikowski's going to be 29. <laughs> <laughs> it's now called the Nipple Tame and She'll Lube Up with Some Baby Oil. Oil, Polly, and dance around like a ballerina. Okay, oh, that's come on, Polly. You can top that. Come on. Hey, Mikowski. So we've seen both of your. Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, my turn. No. <laughs> um. So my dad used to say, he used oh, to try God. to to get okay. me to say to, to to eat things. Okay, that came out wrong. And he would say, uh, for instance, he liked egg rolls with hot mustard. And he'd say, "Doll, eat the hot mustard. It'll put hair on your chest." And I'd go, Dad, I don't want hair in my chest. So I've had it all removed because actually I ate so much hot mustard I looked like Polly. <laughs> That's a good story. But that was all. He'd either say whatever it was tasted like ice cream or it will put hair in your chest. That was his 
So there's been a lot of uh, hairy chest so far, and uh, we're doing well. I, feel I like hope I, everyone watching. Yeah. See, you do that every show. Go, oh, come on. Why don't you just take it? Why don't you just take it off? Because that's just like them the show. Then there's nobody clothed, and we're gonna. That'll be the end of it. Oh, but it's okay. Is it? Is it okay? Because it's me. Listen, I'm I mean, the only person here. I Google Plus. Yes, Google Polly. Respect. I was. I, I, am, I thought really everybody was gonna be in the tub together. I thought everybody yeah. was going to be in the tub, and everybody so would have the bubbles. To, and a shout out to Amy Gabriel. Amy, we love you, and hopefully you'll join us in the future. Oh, this is the Plus Damon Show. We probably have the Rappaport, Jane Allen, and Matt Bukowski. Shout out to Amy Gabriel. For those of you that don't know, that's Matt Bukowski trying to do an impression of me. He's making me sound like John Lovett with a sore throat. <laughs> yeah. He does a pretty good job of that. Jane, Jane you missed the spot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those of you that don't know, Jane Allen just passed gas in the bathtub. That's revolting. And that's don't called wanna, a don't uh, want redneck bubble bath, by the way. Mikowski, if I had the, I, the way to hide you, I would hide you. If you're doing it yourself. Uh, we have a nine. Mikowski, come watching, on. So Mikowski, join us. Mikowski, where are you? Now, how long do you usually take a bath for, Jane Allen? What is your usual bath time? An hour. An hour. Six. Matt, how long do you usually take a bath before you fall over on the chair? Are you going to fall over on the chair? No, no. Why not? That's part of the show. We talked about this. You said you would fall over and we would laugh. Fall, 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 fall. I could fall. The chair doesn't fall. Yeah, it doesn't come to the back. I don't have insurance for the chair to fall. You're in a hotel room. I would like to know this from all of you. I would like to know this. Uh, Are any of you fallers or trippers? Do you, do you fall on a frequent basis? Do you trip over things in your homes? Not but my mother is. I've, I really? don't think I've I ever fallen in my life. Um, no. When, when I first you, met my husband, slipper? no, I'm not. When I first met my husband, he thought, uh, I thought he was just trying to make me laugh, but he kept walking into glass doors. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's gonna kill me for laughing, but I'm sorry. It is really, funny. you and you, Paul, you and Jim have a—I mean, your husband have a relationship, right? Yes. Um, actually, uh, we invented the internet together. Yes. I thought that and was Al Gore. Gore. No. Well, no. Al Gore used to send us Christmas cards because I don't know why he knew Jim or something. Doesn't he? Isn't he from Tennessee? He lives in Car. Well, he—it is his family home in Carthage. He doesn't live in Carthage, but Carthage is 30 miles away from me, and it says Home of Al Gore, and it's BFE. It's like Jesse. There's a lot of land there. I, um, I, I really, I thought this was, I thought everybody was going to be in the tub. I sat there once. I, I brought my, uh, it was I brought my shampoo, room. and uh, I really thought I'm everybody was going to be I brought my wine opener. I thought we were going to drink. <clears throat> Damn. I got this. What? Oh, you got a drink. Oh, looky, looky, Tiny looky. Bubble. A little adult beverage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, other than the fact... So, how was everyone's week? What was the most exciting thing that happened, Jane? The most exciting thing that happened to Jane, what was the most exciting, exciting thing that happened to you? Was... True or false? It doesn't have to be real. I'm no getting to it. My boyfriend, because you know I have several, George Clooney, yes. turned 51. He flew me out to the villa, because you know how I love Italy. And later, he's going to take me on a two-week cruise in Italy. <laughs> and, uh... Just so I could spend time with him. Um, there will be other singles there, uh, of course. And uh, George Clooney and I will be. Yes. Can I ask a question? <laughs> yes, you have to raise your hand. That was. Don't you know it's it's very dangerous to take those cruises over in Italy. Those ships are always boop tipping over. <laughs> yes. Well, you know Clooney. Clooney will have uh, his yacht next to the the cruiser, so we'll be okay. And um, Polly, I think that I think Jane, you should you should be. I guess that joke died, Polly. didn't it? <laughs> you should be thankful that Polly was was worried about you. He didn't want you to die, so that's the. Well, that was nice. I like to spend as much time with Italy as possible. I don't want you to die either. Because uh, Matt, that's, oh. where, that's where Clooney has it, the, the villa, and uh, we like to get away. I'm waiting for her laptop to fall in the bathtub. Hey, yeah. Mikowski, would you have sex with George Clooney? What? Exactly. What about you, Polly? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. I do it for like. <laughs> when you say have sex, I mean <laughs> what define, does that mean? define that. Okay. When I say would, have sex with George Clooney, would any of you have video sex with George Clooney? 
Yeah. Can I, call, can I say, ask you, ask you who will win while we're doing it? In, invite him to the hangout right now. I should do that. We're going to literally blow the thing open. Will it be the real George Clooney or will it be his fake? Are you going to invite him? Um, uh, Watch, it will be a fake George Clooney. Well. Comes in. I just invited you know, Conan O'Brien is going to do. Clooney's on Google Plus. He's, he's not on any well, social media. It's probably not really him, but I invited someone with his name. There you go. Oh, okay. Team Coco, um, all right. Which is frankly good Team enough Coco. for me. <laughs> Team Coco, and just because we do it every week, let's invite my boyfriend, Mike Elgin. Elgin, your boyfriend? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there was a big deal today in Google Plus. Everybody got the HOA. Has what we got. Yeah. Well, they're not, they're rolling it out, right? So. Rolling. I have rolling. it on. Hang out right now, as a matter of fact. What, what is an HOA? Hang out on the air right now. Uh, actually, what it is is a hoa. Yeah. I I don't I don't so exactly you understand. you can't get it unless is you're this, already a hoa. Is a this hoa. being broadcast live? It'll of be course. out there forever. It's on air. So Everybody can see life. me naked. Well, you're not I naked. You just you just have. I don't know. That's not rap report. That's not what you told me. That's not yeah. really nice. It's not kosher, right? I feel like I'm exposed. I feel like you lost all. Elements of speech in that last sentence. So, how, how did you guys handle? Um, I do have closure. Of, um, I have a video of Paulie's van exploding. If you guys are interested, I can bring that. Oh, up. would you please put that up? Please because don't. Pauly, please don't play that. Please, because we don't own the rights to that. Oh, thing. that's right. Paulie <laughs> had a horrible <laughs> industrial accident the other time. Um, it was right after this. Uh, his van, an entire city block, a gas station, and 15 people lost their lives. Um, and Janie, that would have been an excellent <laughs> take if you had, hadn't said the other time. Oh my God, that's a funny story, Jane. Can you tell it again? Time <laughs> <laughs> for that again. Janie, oh don't, Janie, don't laugh like that. The twins almost came out for show and tell. Wow. I don't know any of that. And if you don't Everyone think for a that, minute that I'm watching... Yeah, yeah. I know you've got Mikowski boxed. I've got you <laughs> all moving around. False so, alive says your camera is too high. Whose so, who's camera is too high? If My camera is too see, high? Yeah, no. Okay, don't. there please. you go. The love of everything that is holy... So everyone wants to see the camera lower down, lower down on Jane. It, it might happen if, if they send her a credit card, but, uh, <laughs> but I don't think it's happening. And Otherwise, by the way, I unless... just want you to know, my husband is so happy that I'm doing this. When, when are you getting your final surgery? <laughs> <laughs> final countdown? That'll be crazy. Yeah, the well, one that's going to actually make me a woman, um, I'll be getting that soon. I'm just waiting no. for your check. No, 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 don't. No, Paulie wants you to keep your, your extra member. Yeah. Is that okay? okay. Can you yeah, please? That, oh, sure. If that's what you want. I mean, it's not that big. It's a little nubbin, honey. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Steve Paulie said, so dear God, and then not if. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lukaski. I know. Uh, all right. I'm show? putting a, I'm putting a shirt on. All right. I was trolling some posts. Sorry. Okay. Well, if you're going to do some trolling posts. during the show, I'm trolling. I can't help but troll. How could you troll during the show? We're trying to be alive here. When I'm not on the show, I want to troll the show. When I'm on the show. So are you trolling? Ask the show? Jane a question. I'm actually trolling the show, believe it. I'm also trolling the show, but it's not trolling if we know about it, mother troller. Okay. So what question? Oh. What question shall I ask? By the oh, way, Jane, um, what is the brand? Oh, yes. What is what? Thank you, thank you for being in a bubble bath, by the way. I don't think we thanked you properly, so thank you. I am accepting Cheers gifts. To Jane Ellen, to Jane Ellen, and I'm to Paulie gifts. for putting on some clothes. Yeah, right? Uh, Cheers. She's wearing a hoodie I don't like, thanks. No, it's, it's, uh, well, I don't think that this qualifies as a hoodie. There's no zipper in front. It's an actual pullover sweatshirt. It's Does not that have a hood on it? You know what counts as a hoodie? It's something with a hood on it! Does uh, it have a hood on it? Sam, did you be sleeping on the bathroom floor tonight? Yeah, I'm, I think I am. She's in the tub. Why wouldn't she sleep there, Mikowski? Why would she go on the floor? Mikowski, why do you use your crypto brain? Hey, can I can I go on the uh, public record here about the whole sleep on the bathroom floor thing? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm right. pretty sure, and to the folks watching on YouTube right now and who will watch in the future, this is true. Anybody who would make a woman sleep on the bathroom floor has the personality of an inverted rectum. 
<laughs> an inverted that sounds, rectum. That sounds ass backwards, but uh, there. That's it. That's inverted? all I wanted to say about that. I really, hope that, I really hope that's not a, that's not an actual possibility, right? So, record, I didn't actually force her to sleep on the bathroom floor. She went all voluntarily. Oh, now you're disappointing, really? Hey, McCalsey, can you stop? We get it. You the blacked out. You blacked in. You whited out. You whited in. Just stay here for a little bit. Stay. Thank you. Feel free to join the show. Feel free to be here. Just for well, what is the name of the show? Now. <laughs> okay, I'm just I'm taking over. So Makowski went to St. Augustine, and I would like to hear all about it. Is that where he met Andrew Dice Clay? His his idol? Yes. Oh yeah. No. Little Matt, little Mikowski Blue. He definitely needed the money. Never met Andrew Dice Clay in my life, but I did know my grandparents met his parents. Oh my God! In, it's like in Boca. In in um, North Miami Beach. That was close. That was very close. Off by like ten, five minutes. Crazy. The same ones that took you to the animal house when you were a child? <laughs> was it those same grandparents. They're dead now. Thanks, Jane, for bringing up the hard <laughs> Oh, so they're your actual parents. What were all close did they die on, by the way? I want to bring up more painful memories. Um, it was, remember, uh, was it Six Flags in, in Jersey? That's where the Six Flags is, yes. Yeah, great adventure, yeah. They, um, they were both in roller coaster seats sitting next to each other. I don't know. One of those loop-de-loop things. You know, yeah, like they, were, they were getting died in the loop dealing? <laughs> that, well, if you let me finish the story, you will find out the what happens at the end is their their safety harness came loose. This was this was like before the they started making the equipment really, really good. Their safety harness went good and when they when they came out from the loop, they came the when they go around the and as put them up. Have they fallen off yet? I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's great about the show is Bukowski tells stories terribly, but I'll finish. So they were in the loop de loop going round and round until until they okay. fell out and died. There you go. What, what Mikowski needs to tell us is the story of his sunglasses. That he wears at night? Yes. If he could just tell us the story of the sunglasses, it would be delightful. I can't ever finish a story, so I'm not going to ever, ever start another one. Can I just well, ask a question? I'd like to briefly recap. <laughs> please, I'm please. gay and then straight, Mikowski P, Avengers, and Janie in the Tub Naked. You're all caught up. Please uh, thank you for watching. I'm also here. Hi. <laughs> what is your name? I don't know. Such have, an you, R. have you made a contribution to this the show? This show has been rated R for Rappaport. Yeah! Oh, honestly, honestly, if we could just have the story of the sunglasses, it's really quite amusing. Anytime the sun asses can come out and tell the story about his sunglasses. Any time. Any but, but while we're waiting, uh, Fulci Live liked the ass backwards comment. So. Oh, yeah, ass backwards. That's what for, the rectum, for the win. Yeah. Uh, what have you done, Rappa? What have you done? Tell us. Tell us, have you had a good few days? Have you received any threatening phone calls? Have you yeah, I did receive a threatening phone call. For some reason, someone said they were going to kill me for being myself. And I don't understand like, what they had against Rappaport. I mean, they said, if you ever, and I mean ever, be yourself in front of people that I like again, I'm going to come to New York, and I don't care what cops you put in front of me and you, I am going to strangle you and kill you. And I was like, I didn't know how to respond. How would you respond, Polly? I would respond yeah. with a two-by-four, Polly. You? Yeah, it was weird. I'm going to tell you right now, the way I would respond is balls to the wall. <laughs> That's it. Hey, I just checked the comments, and Angie Person does not, in fact, believe, Janie, that you are in a tub. Oh, Angie. come on, Angie. What's the Angie? Angie? Whoa, I just got the computer wet. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Jane, it's not much closer to not being with us anymore. Huh? I just, Angie. Angie, I'm in a tub. Suds, baby. How would she even fake that? Wait, the candles are real, right? Hold, can you, would you, without dying, touch it, hold up one of the candles? Or? That's hot. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you could say that. Janie faked it with me. Oh, that wasn't the bathtub. You guys are really breaking up for me. I, I got to hop out of Okay. Work. Oh, All right. Shit. Oh, oh don't, crap. Don't, don't, no, don't, the hot don't. wax on me, but not in a sexy way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andy. That is a G-plus achievement. That was not Mikowski. He's gone for the night. He's going to play with himself. In the, in the room. I, I, my hand is, I, I, I didn't tell you to do it if it was going to cause permanent damage. Well, I, I've heard of, I, Thank you, Angie. Thank you. Well, Angie, <laughs> does Angie believe her now, or...? All for now. I am I am in the bathtub. <laughs> Should we invite Angie in here? Or yes, I would love to have Angie in here and Gilberto. You can invite Scott in, but he won't come in. 
Okay. Now, Angie, if you do come in, you will be interrupted many times. You'll have to deal with that. <laughs> Is I see like a million Gilberto Rodriguez. Is that him? No. Uh, Ronquillo. Ronquillo, that's right. R -O -N -I, I want to say hi to Rainer and Ray. Yeah, it's not working. So does everyone that's watching, is this movie the women's movement forward, giving power to the woman, or do you think it's the opposite of being like, oh, God, why is a woman in the top? Tell us. Is it coming? Well, <laughs> you know what? Is you want to know something? Women bathe. I heard about that. And I'm a huge fan of cleanliness. In every country, you think? Or do you think that that's... No, will probably be a, not. No. Yeah. I'm sure they don't Janie, bathe. it's not just women that bathe, okay? Men, real men bathe, too. There's no reason for you to... God, I slid into a little dick mortis there for a minute, didn't I? Um, it, you know, men bathe <laughs> for how too. Long? I like Did a nice like bubble it? bath, a little... Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm coming from, Cheers. but where is he coming from? Cheers. So we'll, here's the question of the night. Do you think Matt Mikowski will enter the show? Will he be back on the show tonight? No, he will not. Or, he or is bored because we're not talking about him because I'm in a bathtub. Now, if he was in a bathtub, it would wow. be totally different. So are you trying to tell me the only reason Matt Mikowski wanted to do the show so Matt Mikowski would have a platform to be Matt Mikowski? Oh, I think that's quite certain. However, his sunglasses story is freaking awesome. Yes. So I, we can't, do you want me to I tell the story? I can tell the story right now. Oh, did he tell yeah. you? Right. This is the sunglasses story. Matt Mikowski bought sunglasses. He's a doofus. He lost them. Boom. Bought them again. End of story. <laughs> Great story. Everybody laugh now. Cue the laugh track, please. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There's, oh, more, oh. Oh. there's more. There's oh. more. Oh. You're, you're, there's so much more to it. There's the, the details, the fine details, the... That was Matt Rappaport imitating Matt Mikowski, imitating me, imitating <laughs> Matt Rappaport on the Plus David Show. Yeah, G Plus achievement. I love Once again, I'd like to say, I don't know why Mike Elgin doesn't come into these things. Mike Elgin doesn't come in here because he's busy coming elsewhere. Um, could I just right? take a minute Maybe. to uh, let my sponsor know that this is really just soda? New York coffee. And this is really just water. So and Skyler Henrique. Really By the way, I want to tell you, Janie. it was because of this. Here, I'm going to tell you a story. It's because of this that I got cast in the Larry the Cable Guy Christmas special. Because I showed up at the audition Bing. Shameless plug. this. Because they wanted um, wacky vacationers, Hawaiian vacationers. So I wore a bathing suit top and my jeans, and I brought this, and that's what got me the audition. Because everyone remembered the glass. Okay. Okay. Nice. Cricket snobs. It's uh, well, it is. It is. <laughs> Everybody stopped me and said, oh. So, wait. Let's talk about that. So, what was your interaction with Lara the Cable Guy? Uh, I had a lot of interaction with him. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can see my what, five or six glorious minutes. You know what's awesome? You're on the show. Tell us here! I am. In case you want to watch it. <laughs> uh, I... I talked to him a lot. I had lunch with his mother and uh, Caroline Ray, and I got I got back I got childhood stories of Larry the Cable Guy from his mom, because they are from the Midwest and they had pigs. And when he was like eight years old, he, the pigs had had babies. He brought in like three or four piglets into his room, unbeknownst to her. I'm scared where the story's going. That was about it. I mean, could you imagine what three or four baby pigs are going to do in a room in a house? Can you imagine? Uh, no yeah. So, and and he just he didn't want them outside where you know they were. Outside. Are you saying that uh, Larry the Cable Guy cuddled with his piglets? No, I didn't say he cuddled with them. He was like eight years old. It, it, it is not deliverance. Cuddling is he not just brought the same pigs in the house. Sex. I don't know. Okay. But it could wow. lead to it. We got the first. We didn't get show tits. We got shoe tits. Which is uh, which means jelly swag. Thanks for playing. Uh, Willow Fortune is not looking for you. Uh, anyway, uh, so I I spent two days on the set with them. I will tell you this: from all the sets I've been on, and you know a lot about this rapper, some places have great craft services. Larry the Cable Guy had the best food Delicious. ever. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That's what Caroline Ray said because she announced to everyone. She goes, "Where's the fried chicken? Where's this and that?" They, he had incredible roast beef and fish, and I mean, and this sounds boring, but the spread was amazing. He said, 
the spread was amazing. The spread was amazing. And we mentioned animals that turn into bacon on the show, so the viewers have gone on. Everyone likes the bacon. But spread. one of my one of my um, <clears throat> one of my little people was taken from the set into the hospital because he had to have emergency uh, his appendix burst on the set. Are you talking about one of your eggs or? No, one of my little people. There were several little people on the set. Oh. I didn't know what you meant by little people. I thought maybe like one of your tampons were missing or something. I don't, I don't No, I've had a complete and total hysterectomy. Thank you for asking. And I don't need any flares. Can you please explain <laughs> the mental process that got you from little people to tampons? And you know what? <laughs> funny, what a, funny. I have to make up for Bukowski not being here. i got to do a little bit. So, so I was at the grocery store today, and as I walked by the feminine product, I thought, you know, I don't miss having to buy that crap at all. Right. It is the, awesome. That reminds me of when I was in college and a girl wrote my phone number down on an unused tampon and she never called. What? She, oh, she wrote, well. She wrote my phone number. She, I thought she me. used that to hand it to you. Wouldn't, to that, be, wouldn't that be great if she, if, if the rat, if, yeah, if she used it? Yeah, okay. That would be great. But yeah. It's good, it's good when you get together because every inch you of know, the body was covered in that tattoos. That is a test. And I want to know, have both of you passed the test, the woman test? We oh. give you things that you may find oh, yeah. embarrassing to buy and oh, see yeah. if you come back with it. Absolutely. Yeah, I passed but, it I passed it in five it. different relationships. As well you should. Correct brand, correct type, with the wings, the whole thing. I mean it's you just gotta do it. You and just gotta you, do it. That's not as important as getting the right brand of ice cream. If you don't get that, you're screwed. So. Yeah, you are. Now, when you have to buy something that you find even slightly embarrassing, do you feel the need to buy more things to pretend it's not in the cart? Absolutely not. I went I went the macho route. I said, I'm going up here, and the checkout girl is going to be really impressed by me doing this. I slapped those things right down on the belt. Scan them, babe. Is that what you said? And, then do, and do the impression that that person that was actually there when you... Can you, you know, what the cashier did? Yeah. Okay. Beep. Fifteen eighty-seven, sir. But the second time 1587? was it there? I don't know. Was Jesus, he I, I know the right fucking price or the type. I don't know the. All right, we just lost care. five viewers. They don't like tampons, apparently. What is wrong with discussing feminine products? Is there something wrong with discussing these things? It's very personal. I understand that. But they have money to take those companies, and they want to promote their products on the television and on the YouTube. They probably sponsored this show, for crying out loud, for all I know. But I don't think it's that embarrassing to discuss. Obviously, I, as a man, don't have to deal with these things. But, Jamie, I don't think it's that embarrassing. I would buy those things for you if you needed them, honey. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah, I would well, do too. If there's one thing people have told me, it's that very sweet. And by people telling you, you mean all the people that plus mention you in comments. Hold on a yeah. second. Nobody ever plus mentions me. Hold on. Excuse me for just a second. Now, that, is that a feminine product that you're using to wipe your nose? <laughs> and for those of you that miss Matt Mikowski, he's I'm back. Sorry. Holly's nose. He's there. gone to buy feminine products for himself. That too. <laughs> that as well. That as well. So, so, he had a plate of beans to eat. so now that everybody has the hangouts on air, do you predict that people will be in bathtubs or this is the only time? This is what I predict. I predict there will be many people doing HOAs over the next month and then the drop off will be rapid. That'll be it, right? Everyone will like play with it like the new little vibrating toys and then after they get bored a month or so, it'll be gone, right? And I'll still be here. We'll still be here. Oh, I know. I don't think it'll be gone. I just think there'll be a bunch be of less. them, and then they'll go, oh, I really can't talk for more than five minutes, which it can be just five minutes. And th then they'll go, oh, I don't look. A lot of people don't want to do a regular hangout, so why would they do a recorded one? It depends on what they, if they're trying to, maybe people will I'm try I'm getting to really hot in here. Oh, yeah. Pardon me? Excuse me? <laughs> Paulie just woke up from his, his coma. What? What was the? I, I know something face, there, darling. Probably. You got a little white what? thing on your face. What is that? I got a my white thing on my face. Probably. Oh, there it is. Gone now. All right. Now it's on your fingers. There we go. Paulie, did you used to play for the Cowboys? Maybe the Cowboys? Yes, he did. He used to play for them. He's with them. No, I did not play for the Cowboys. I'm just a fan. So, how many different jobs have you had, Paulie? <laughs> And, and you have to count every single time you're a 
<laughs> can we just, instead of doing that, can we just go over some of the more interesting ones? Yes. Okay. The department store I worked for for three days. That was a pretty good one. Um, such a guy I, uh, to, do, to put your three up. Like, I mean, that is so unnatural. Are you going to die in there? Please don't die in there. What is, what's going on it's, with the wire? It's just my headphones. Oh, your, head, your headphones. Because okay. this one doesn't have a thingy, so it's just... Anyway, so what department store did you work in, and did you work in women's intimates? Sadly, no. It was best products, and I was uh, in the toy department. I was supposed to be stocking the shelves, and uh, three days. I said, that's it. I've had it. That's, this is ridiculous. I can't stand it. I'm out of here. What could you not stand? So uh, actual work. Oh, okay. And you were how old? Uh, 19. Okay. That was like when I was doing counting inventory. It was terrible. That was the, looks like the worst job I've ever had. But you, you go around you count inventory? You take you take a scan thing and every single <laughs> solitary thing in the store, yep. beep, beep, and literally they pay you like minimum wage. It was they, they make you take a test, a math <laughs> test, for what reason I don't know why. And then after you take the math test, they pay you nothing. Just go to a store. And I think at one point we were actually going I was going through lingerie and you think that'd be exciting? Not exciting. Not okay. exciting. Not exciting. And you gotta work overnight. Uh well sometimes, yeah. And Literally, the egos too. Like, there's they have these tags, and I guess each tag is a different. I had no idea. I and there's like different like divisions, like this city and that city, and there's different. I don't know. I was new. I was my second or third job, and I did like small ones. This is a big job. The guy goes to me. I never met this guy, but I guess he was above. He was a manager. He goes here. Put these uh, put these tags away. So I'm like, all right. I took them all. I dumped them in a bag, and he got so pissed because he thought I was gonna like organize them. Like organize them. He said, put them away. Put them in a bag. Like he thought I was gonna like color code them, and I'm like, what kind of a... Anyway, so that was that. And I worked at McDonald's, which wasn't as bad as that. So. Let me tell you about a job that just... People. This is when... I, I already had an inclination people were stupid, but this really drove it home for me. I worked... I was employed by Gannett. I worked for USA Today. I know, it sounds so impressive, doesn't it? Not really. But I wasn't at the USA headquarters. I was just at one of their other buildings. And I worked from 4 to 8 because I was in school. I worked 4 to 8. And what I was to do is in the customer service department. And Tom was my supervisor. Tom was um, under tall, had a massive boom box. He I believe lived in his mother's basement. He was white, but he liked to speak um, ghetto lingo. And the two guys who were my buddies that I worked with were from Washington, D.C. And they would um, put up with it, though honestly they should have sued his ass. And what we were supposed to do, because Tom was too busy playing Morris Day in the Time ice cream castles, and trying to engage them in conversation. He, he did nothing. But what we did was, you got the paper. You didn't like where your paper was delivered. And so we called and said, has the problem been corrected? The problem that you said you had. And what did we get? I don't want to buy no paper. It's like, look, you already get the paper. Well, I'm not, don't quit selling me a subscription. I'm not selling you anything. You, you've already purchased it. You said it was being delivered in your bushes. Has it been fixed? <laughs> so that, that was it. That was it. It was just over and over and over. You said your supervisor's name was Tom? Yeah. <laughs> Tom DeLay? I think I know him. You think you know him oh, or you think you've guys. grown him? Yes, exactly. What's oh, yeah. the difference, really? I mean, how Sam, do you really know someone? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Sam, so was it? Sam was just. Was it last night that we were talking about the idea that there are places in the country, like rest stops and other things, where where people actually go to have gay sex or male <laughs> gay sex? Oh, um, I think it's shameful that we have to be ostracized and have to go to different places because people don't want to see us holding hands in the village and stuff like that. It's not nice. Oh, I just thought it was just a hookup, a place to find I'm going to I'm gonna cry again, I think, but I won't blow my nose, I promise, because I had a little tissue on my face. Polly, I think you should be allowed to get married to whoever you want. You should be equally as unhappy as the rest of the world. Should, but, exactly. But what, but what if I wanted to marry somebody who is already married to someone? Is that oh, okay? okay? Uh. It's okay in some places. I think it would be like yeah. a threesome all yeah. the time. 
Now, do you guys no, think that think marriage that. works? Do you think marriage, I mean, is it is it silly that we created marriage? Am I offending everyone that ever believed in marriage and religion right now? See? You know, I don't think silly? it's silly. I think I think if if there really are two people that really want to promise in front of a group of witnesses that they're going to stay committed to each other for the rest of their lives, I think that's fantastic. So when you say committed, I mean, it sounds like... Or until one of them commits a felony. Right. Okay. No, but I mean, I think marriage has changed, right? I've never been married, but do you really think it's about commitment or it's about no matter what happens being there for each other, no matter what, no matter what? Well, no but matter. isn't that commitment? No matter what covers a lot of ground. Okay. I mean, no matter what, I mean, if you're talking abuse on either side, right. I think no matter what goes out the window. Right. Janie, would you, if we were married, I mean, obviously... Oh, wait, you guys aren't... Oh. But if we were married, Janie, and I yes. asked you to just give me a teeny tiny bit of abuse, would it be okay? Would you do that for me, If honey? you asked me to, right. that would be different. Just like and a little, the viewers oh. are dropping. Little specking once in a while. <laughs> They're like, we don't want to hear this. What? That's the other show with Candace person and the bully and other things. <laughs> I mean, you're you know, I'm always going to get a shameless plug in. I think I already did. That's shameless enough. Go hey, that's weren't you talking to sex toy guy tomorrow night? Weren't you talking tomorrow to some sex night, toy guy? I am actually. Really, I'm very excited about this. We are going to be interviewing yeah. Dave Levine, who's known as Sex Dave. He started Sextoy.com. Uh -oh. We're going to be talking to him about how he got started in the very early days of Internet commerce, what his rock star lifestyle was like, and what it's like now that he's married and expecting his first child. Congratulations, Dave. Yes, congratulations, Mr. Dave Levine, mm -hmm. Mr. Sextoy. Mr. Is that, does your next to be called Mr. Sextoy? I think so. Uh, sex toy Dave. I still think. Can we talk about? I know Mikowski's probably watching. He's like, oh no, my no, god, no, let, me, let me set about you me. straight right now. <laughs> he's not watching. Okay? What is it about Mikowski that he decided to? Is this like his ultimate troll to leave the show? No, he just rage quit. That's all. What? He just rage quit. Why? I told you we weren't talking about him. I How think. It, it's got to be some kind of like midlife crisis or something. Because he is rage quitting everything. He rage quits posts. He rage quits hangouts. He rage Maybe quits HOAs. He didn't want to watch us. I don't know. The now, poor guy yeah. was masturbating last night and rage quit on that. He exactly. Is it By the way, his bait? birthday his birthday is coming up. Yes, he's going to be. His birthday is going to come more than he will. What? <laughs> oh, <Coming> oh. <laughs> So that's, uh, yeah, that Mikowski's not watching. He hasn't even watched. It. He said, what is that interview thing you did with Rappa the other night? Do I have to watch it? Do I have to watch it? I'm not it? going to. Okay. Could you just give me the highlights? So you're saying that Mikowski, if he was a pilot, which he might be, would be the laziest pilot. He's like, do I actually have to land the plane? Yeah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> he, he will rewatch the first five minutes the highlights of the that he plane. was on. And should you schedule him as a guest on your show, he will oh. watch the entire show. And analyze it. Yes. But no, he's not watching this. For those of you that don't know, Mikowski will come to me and be like, oh, during the, the, oh, you have to like clip that. That was a great part. Clip it and put it up there. No, oh. Cause, oh, because that's all like, that's his whole shtick. Come on, go. <laughs> okay, Polly, tell me another job you had. Yes. I uh, was a 911 dispatcher. Is that like a sex operator? Phone operator? No idea what just happened there. <laughs> she asked you a question and answered it. Uh, I've never been a 911 operator. Do you know how to answer my never... questions? No, it's just that you asked the question and then started describing one of the jobs that you had. That's the way it works. Sure. That's the no, show. I, was I, was just giving, I actually I was thought Mikowski was giving. back for a minute. You know, <laughs> She's trying to show you how it works. Oh, my yes. God. A job I told you. I told you a job. So now you can tell me a job. Was uh, it a I mean, handy I one? Really, I can't think of anything that was really interesting. It's really, it's well, been clearly the there show have been, isn't. There have been a lot of them, but it's, uh, it's, there's nothing really cool that I've ever done. You give me one. I worked. I delivered pizza. See, did you write I, a little? I worked in a bank. Forum. I I sold advertising. What? Forum? Did you did you write a, a letter? You know, so I delivered the pizza. 
No, never anything like that. See, it wasn't <laughs> that interesting. Never get, you know, nobody came to the door naked or anything. Here's, a, I think this is a good pizza delivery story. It's not funny or anything like that. It's actually kind of sad. I uh, went to a person's house, uh, delivered a uh, pizza and a uh, bottle of soda, and I just, you know, you get to a point where you have a feel for having the money in your hand, and you don't really sit there and count it in front of them. So I walked away from the door, and I realized the person was actually a dollar and the change short. Mm -hmm. And so I went back, and I knocked on the door. I didn't think I was going to get anywhere, because how are you going to convince them? But... Um, I knocked on the door. She said, is there a problem? I said, yeah, it was you know, thirteen seventy two, and you gave me $12. And she like lowered her head, and she goes, I, 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 don't have, I don't have all the money. And I wanted to say, you know, then take the friggin' $12 and go to the store and buy a loaf of bread and a dozen of eggs. You can sit there. You can eat for a week for crying out loud. But that's, you know, that's the kind of crap that used to have. It was never so anything happened? like that. Did you put it in yourself? <clears throat> yeah, I mean that's what ends up happening. You know, you gotta you put it take in it yourself. Out of the tips. You can't get the help. I waited tables for too long. Waiting tables, you learn a lot about people. You start to hate people. I had to get out. I mean, it makes you the worst. You just hate everyone. Not even just being racial. It's everything. You like anybody that comes in. I I waited tables for two weeks and I was horrendous. And I would like to apologize <laughs> if they still exist to El Torito restaurants. I was your worst server ever, and I'm apologizing. Did you publicly. do the game voice? You would have got better tips. Yeah. Oh man, that would have been fantastic. Yeah, they like for some reason people like the gay waiters. They they enjoy it. See, I talk to my waiters when they come up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I I talk to them. So that's it, right? That's the culture. It's like who wants to be engaged and wants the waiter to actually talk to them, and who's like, "Fuck f you! I just want my drink and my food and get it out of my face." Right? Well, you get better service if they if they know you right. and you're not a dick to them. I knew, yeah, I knew and I think honestly, I think it's not even it's not just that I should say it's I mean just make a friggin' connection with them. I mean all day long they're dealing with people who really have even if they don't say it they have that fuck you attitude and right. but you know just connect with them. You, they come up and they say hi, my name's Janie, I'll be your server, and you go hi Janie, you know I'm Paul, right. you know whatever, you know just have a conversation with a kid around with them a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, sometimes sometimes a kid around with you when you're like all stressed out and you don't even realize you're kidding. So that yeah. happens. That's true. Like, like I'll so, be, yeah. Now yeah. that both of you have said you were waiters, did you ever do anything disgusting to someone who was a jerk in their food? No. Um, no, I've never, never. I was only a waiter food. for two weeks, so I really didn't have the time to I've seen, know, come up with anything yeah, like that. Nothing like that, no. I mean, have I made, put less alcohol or less of whatever in a jerk? I, may, I mean, I don't know. I Not right away, but uh, I've given tables away. I, I was pretty good at reading tables. After years of waiting tables, you get an idea. You can, and it's not. It maybe it sounds terrible, but I you you kind of read people's attitudes and and those people that come in or that are be bitching and complaining from the get go. Yeah. Right. I think anybody with a brain knows. Like I don't want that table. I don't even care if they're going to leave me twenty percent. They're going to make me run out. around. What? Is it, I didn't have. I had my window open. If you could hear it, it's pouring out. Oh, is it raining? Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Well, that's good. Janie, but, could you uh, quickly give us the uh, Central Tennessee weather? <laughs> uh, well, it's that's warm middle probably. Tennessee. Is it nipply? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. You're not allowed to say Central here. Tennessee. You have to say Middle Tennessee. Well, no, it's called Middle Tennessee. You got East Tennessee, West Tennessee is Memphis. There's nothing above Memphis, I'm sure. Uh, I'm, in middle <laughs> Tennessee. I'm in Middle Tennessee. I, I got to tell you, I love the middle. <laughs> And then there's Chattanooga. They never say. And then there's oh yeah, that was East. a good movie, the Chattanooga Express, then. or shoot you, or whatever, but or something. There's Nashville, Knoxville, Chattanooga, Memphis, and that is it. And then there's play weren't there a couple places that had the uh, tornadoes? Yes, but that was M Nashville, Memphis, Chattanooga, or Knoxville. So I so does that mean we want Mikowski back next week, or he's like banned? Oh, he's not banned. Okay. No, he's not banned. I wouldn't want to ban him. No, he's not banned. I wouldn't want to ban him either. And I want to, I want to, I want to make sure that everyone notices the bathtub and notices the trouble that Janie went through. Yes. They got me calling her Janie. I, I used to call her just Jane. And it's, 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 I should have asked. Is it okay if we call you Janie? If I call you <laughs> Janie? If anybody calls you Janie? Can we just call you? What? <clears throat> Just as long as you call me. <laughs> oh, there are very cold. few people that call me Janie. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done it publicly. But, oh, but, what? Uh, <laughs> there are very few people that call me Janie. 
So we are going to probably but wrap apparently up. Apparently, it is now you guys and Scott. <laughs> We're going to wrap up soon, but I just wanted to get the most out of that type of experience. I'm guessing it's not going to be a normal thing every week. What is your what is well, your takeaway from being Who wants to pay for my divorce? Who wants to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I believe Mikowski is the one with the actual money job. Here, so. uh, see, proof. Proof. Actual bathtub. <laughs> so, what, so what was it like doing oh, a show well. like that? Were you empowered? Did you feel empowered? Did I feel empowered? <laughs> I yeah. felt comfortable. <laughs> the lighting in here is great. Right. And for all we know, off. you've already, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about? You could have. We, we, you know, we don't know. I could have what? You know. You, you know. You know. You know. You, you know, yeah. the thing. The thing that you do not in the bathtub. Wink, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. You know. I could have. You could have, but you didn't because you're a female. You females don't do that. Farts smell like roses. Pee is for the toilet. What? Like that. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> for the love of God, Polly wants me to wrap up. I don't know why the show is kicking. <laughs> and Honestly, and stuff. Uh, 15 minutes into it, it was over. Really. I mean, no. Well, that's not my fault, Mikowski. He's a party pooper. Listen, this is Mikowski, the only <laughs> show. Ready? Ho! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> you know what the problem is? He had all these great stories. Do you want me to tell him as him? He told me so many great stories today. Oh, tell us a story! Oh! <laughs> Wait a second. You talked to Mikowski today? Don't ever do that again. Got wait, it? Wait, wait. You got it? You got it! I think I'm kidding around. I'm coming <laughs> in that friggin' bathroom right Capiche? now. Capiche? Uh, so, uh, he and his wife were being menaced. Yeah, let's talk about his they wife. Being menaced like his wife. By, <laughs> let me finish. They were being menaced <laughs> by young thugs. So what he did? They were being tops. menaced. He peed on them? What? No, he turned around and he said, Hey, fellas, we got a problem here. And they took off. Wow. Nice. He totally intimidated them. And they left. I said, why didn't you say, are you feeling lucky, punk? Yeah, they might have, that might have worked too. Hey, fellas. <laughs> was in here? Buffalo? No, in Florida. Oh, does he actually <laughs> live in that state? All right. He goes back and forth. He flies he lives, a lot. Yeah, I heard he flies a lot. He was being menaced. I mean, that's really ballsy. Do you know what I heard? I actually heard a Mikowski rumor, and maybe you guys can confirm this. Maybe you can deny this. I'm not sure what the story is. But I actually heard a rumor that he's not, in fact, a pilot, and all what? of the pilot stuff is bullshit. What? And that no, he, I, he's, that's he's like not last week saying he worked at a box factory. Well, I know he has a box cutter. Yeah. And he enjoys... Boxes. He loves boxes. He loves the box. He loves he loves his wife's box. He loves his plus girlfriend's boxes. Lots of boxes. Hard I, boxes. I I have a lot of female friends on G plus, and not one of them has ever shown me a box. Aww. You watch my movie. It's about a box. I, about a mind. You can't do box. I don't even have a box. I Polly, if I had a box, I'd show it to you. Well, wow. and and that's why I'm conflicted about the surgery. Box, no box, box. So wait, no do you box. guys enjoy? Do you enjoy a box, a cookie, or a taco? If you had to choose, or two. Oh, cookie. Cookie <laughs> over tuna, taco, and box. All right. Celebrity, <laughs> celebrity box, cookie, taco. Taco, <laughs> taco, taco defies the no What? No, why? Tacos are tasty and delicious. This is. But this they is a have a specific m meat odor. So, it, and I don't talk about fish tacos either. I eat tacos. I'm not going to bring up fish tacos. They're not as good as regular ones. Well, it depends where you go. I, I, I've never had a fish taco, and that's not a euphemism. <laughs> I've <laughs> well, never had a fish taco. So you're saying you've been with other women. All right. Okay. Full disclosure, that is not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, this show is rated R for really... As a matter of fact, it wasn't until recently I knew that they made... Fish tacos. It's like, what? Really? No. Now, do you think YouTube is going to pick up on the fact that you're half naked and, and give me an adult rating, or they're not? Or there's going to be no nippleage, and so I won't get. There's the no nippleage. I is would. How, I don't know how it works. Those of you watching, I think was you this body in another one we did. Yeah. David Bennett, who who's on the Hangout team, was saying to me, 
oh, enjoy your body painting. And I guess he didn't realize it was the bubble bathing, not the body painting. Well, if so. Polly would just get over here with the, the paints, we could get started. Yeah, Paul Rustan, Paul Tent, too. You get him? Hey, let me I'm in the other room. When I'm, you know, when I'm in my studio, when I'm in character, I can't be bothered you know, running errands for uh, Janie like that. I'm sorry. Uh, if you had brought the body paint in, if we'd made an arrangement uh, prior, and I wasn't guessing on the show. You know, I'm getting paid for this, honey. That's Man, true. oh my God, I cannot make a fucking joke tonight. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, listen, this is like open mic night. Oh, rap report, am I allowed to say Jesus? Uh, fuck yeah, you are. So this is like... Uh, <laughs> Like open mic night. Boris no. Gorlitz <laughs> just sent me a message saying, don't go to the office party. What does that mean? Who? Who's that? Is that Boris, a taco you Street photographer Boris. Rosh and Boris. Don't go to the office no, party. No, I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, he said, you go know. to the office party, they want to do something to you, like make fun of you or sleep with you or both. That's, that was like Spanish, Russian. I don't know. He's not Spanish at all. No, he's not. I've met him. He's fantastic. He's short, but he's a nice guy. You met him many times? At least two You met him times. many times? What does that mean? Met, seen him in, in front of me physically. Watched him take My pictures. God, is it just me or, or our shows just get worse and worse? See, They're this supposed is to why. be getting better. Well, if Amy was here in the bathtub, we'd have double-edged <coughs> things. The next possibility is not. Well, double we double hitch, talk double about double television double. and movies, but we stopped that. The Mikowski, and he doesn't want us to die. Anyway, what can I uh, this has been the Plus Tainment Show. It's been awesome. Did you enjoy it out there? we got 70 watching, which is three of us watching and, uh, and, and the regulars. So we got one new person watching. You know, and, uh, i got to say, i got to say, seeing as I am actually in a bathtub, I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah, well, we got a new subscriber. So Katie, what are the chances of getting, I mean, if we helped you out so that not too much was revealed, what are the chances of getting a shot of the small of your back, honey? I that sounds like a lot don't think it would be possible for me okay. to do right. that okay. in this I'd like to situation. say that I'd like to say, Jane, that what you've done so far has been really great. Everyone's enjoyed the view. Yes. And uh, we're happy to have you still living after this experience. Hopefully you'll get to continue. Is this the first right HOA in. in a bubble bath? You have broken, as far as I know, this is the first ever achievement unlocked. Unlocked. So I will be <laughs> when you share this, you will say <coughs> first time bubble bath aired or any bath. Oh, but you know, uh, see, it, it, let's continue to beat this dead horse. Uh, this <laughs> yeah. came up. This came up on uh, something that I posted, and I. What are you pointing to? Know. Nothing. Uh, oh, I thought you were saying this came up on this something. I've came up. Uh, <laughs> what alone. part... Women are very critical of their bodies, in case you didn't know that. I know it's obvious, because I am completely nude and hairless, but beside that, uh, women are critical of their bodies, and uh, not all of them, but most everyone I know. And I read something today, and I posted it about things that men love about women's bodies, and it's not just... The JJ. It's just things that they love. And they may be things that women didn't realize they loved. Uh, the small of the back is one of them. And, yes. um, gee, I forget what the others are. Small of the back is what everyone was talking about in my stream. Polly, your list. Rafa, your list. It's, it's, it's absolutely the small of the back. Because that's the, that's the sexiest part of a woman. Um, what I wrote earlier was, it's the center of the hourglass figure. It's a place where I can put my hand before I know where the evening is going. It is, it's just so sexy. I don't, it is it just because it's something crazy. that you can touch in public? And, and it's okay. You can touch in public. But it's well, almost like a message saying, I don't know, this is going. Because you can touch, uh, you can touch somebody's back. I mean, is that part of the turn-on for you? Well, it's part of the turn-on. It's, it's close to something that I shouldn't be touching in public. But I just, I don't know. It's like it's really sexy. I can't really explain it any better than it's, um, it's a great, it's great looking. It's, women's backs are very sexy. I don't know what it is about the small of the back exactly, but well, that's it's just crazy. Well, that's the tattoo, which, which to me I think screws it up. I think to get a tattoo, they're really kind of, Around here, it's called a tramp stamp. Right. Well, around everywhere, it's called that. Yeah. But I, I don't. I'm not. Tattoos are alright, but I don't 
that spot, it just, you want one on your arm or, there's certain spots I feel like, I don't like tattoos, they're all right, but I don't, I don't know, I've never dated someone that had tattoos, but you guys have dated I'm people tattoo with tattoos? I am tattoo-free, yes, I, I have uh, the Antichrist, oh. was covered in tattoos. Um, yes, I, I've, I've had relationships with the tattoo. Uh, he had a whole sleeve, can you see me, the guy with the whole sleeve? Mm. But he had a whole sleeve, and uh, they, the skin feels different there. Mm. On my back, I actually had all the uh, names of the uh, women that I love uh, tattooed down the right side of my back. So essentially, in Gothic letters, it says Janie, 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 it's sad. Well, it's sad because you've only met Janie like what this year, two years ago. No, yes. this not even. No, like two months well, ago, as far as you know. Wow, really? Are you gonna pull that one? Really? I really just did. Yeah. You, no one believed you, Paulie Ted. Why? Why Ted? Do we ever cover why you decided to choose choose number the ten? Because when I got involved in in social uh, networks, it was uh, to like discuss politics and stuff. It wasn't, you know, I, and it's turned into a whole different thing, which I'm absolutely <laughs> thrilled about. But my my whole thing is the Tenth Amendment. I really think that we need a uh, smaller government, and that uh, states' rights are more important than a strong central government. What is this government you speak of? Yeah, you don't have to do that. We get it. You know, we were we were listening to you, and you, we get you. You know, it's not moving on. You I'm just, I'm, not, I'm, no I, and I want to apologize because I have not been on tonight. I think I'm usually a little funnier than this, and I don't know if I've got. Well, a, I think uh, we were surprised. The bathtub, the towel, Mikowski. Sometimes there's too much going on that distracts us all. <laughs> too much, for sure. But we're here every. I mean, at least you're not trolling the show. show. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. At least. <laughs> You would never ever do that. Well, it's not uh, that I wouldn't. So it's just that there's no. I can't ha handle the two windows open at once to try and make comments, and I'm a mess. Yeah, okay, I'd like to apologize <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> what? Like, I'm like, I tried to rap. We don't have to rap. We can continue to rap before. I would like to apologize to everyone for. The why you're green screen for everybody right now? Don't apologize. You get to see your from your neck to your whatever you call that to your what? Isn't my clavicle or something? It's my clavicle. To your boobas, yeah. Yes. Uh, it's the only bony part of me. Oh. But I would say, as far as the smaller back is nice, but I think most men like all parts of women. I don't think there's any part of women we don't like. Well, I right? think some like different parts, kind of like some a like chicken. <laughs> you're not what? Uh, some men, you know, they talk about boob guy, breast guy, or butt guy, uh, thigh guy, leg guy. I don't know. It does it's sound shitty. like... Uh, it's so obvious, though. What? It's, I mean, to say breast or leg, it's like obvious. you got to pick something, you know, out of the ordinary. There's got to be something that not every guy goes for. Nobody says brain. What? Actually, I did in the post. I said, I'm assuming that we're talking about the outside. Otherwise, I could really go off talking about the utter sensuality of a woman's brain. Right. No, it's true. It's nice when a woman is smart and she gets your references. That's always nice. Well, here, I'll tell you what I find attractive about men. They have to be smart. And if I see them in person, of course, I'm going to look at their face and their eyes. But next to that, other than their face... I go right for the ass. And I want it clothed. Oh. I want a good fitting oh, yes. therapy. I'm just saying, that's what I look at. You're saying you like the I tightness. You're not for a baggy. Most women. I am uh, anti-baggy. Are there any women that actually like the baggy look? I don't think, I think it's just men being lazy and loose. Yeah, and yeah, right, because they don't get comfortable. <laughs> but you know, I understand you want to work like that or whatever. But if you're going out with me, you are going to work with you properly, even if they have to be tailored. You're, and I'm not, and jeans can be taken in. Just you gotta have a good fit pair of pants. You just do. No matter what size you are, you can have a good fitting pair of pants. Now, That's all. The, the butt. There are some parts of the body for the men and the woman. We do share common parts of the body. That's a rumor going around. 
do you have you ever found a woman's butt attractive? Do you know? Or have you ever looked oh, at a Oh yeah, butt I think women are beautiful. I mean, have you ever looked at a butt and not known it was a man or a woman until they turned around because of the position or No. I that happens to everybody? No. no? Never? I haven't. Folly? I have looked I have looked at them in full on and not known it was a man or a woman. And then yeah, it was just saying, yeah. but not from the rear. Because usually they're walking and I can there's something I mean men and women You've never seen a butt like that was like bent over where you didn't see anything else but the butt? No. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I've ever been confused like that. Um, I was confused by long hair once. Mm. I was confused. It was a guy with long hair. It was right. he had he had really great long hair, and I was looking at the hair, and he turned around, and, and especially the hair covering the face, you can't yeah. see mm -hmm. what's going on. Yeah, it's every it's weird. I mean, they're all different shapes and sizes. So, those of you out I've there, I've been called sir many times, and I always go. It, what? <laughs> what? What did you say? Yes. What do you? But what do you mean? Sir. Why? Why would anybody call you sir? Because they're dumbasses. Oh my god! All right. Yeah. That is. That's like the height of stupidity. But I have been called <clears throat> ma'am on the phone. I don't think there's anything about you that would be mistaken for masculine. No. Not your appearance, your voice. Nothing. That's the thing between the lines. That would. Yeah. Hello. 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 So that's our show. If you, yeah. if uh, we would love to hear stories that we can tell next week, where you encountered a man, <laughs> woman, whatever it was, and you thought, oh my God, I thought that was a woman or a man, and I thought that was an attractive woman or a man that I was attracted to. And then you realize that it's not. It's the opposite. And you go, oh. No. <laughs> you want to hear the stories? Are there any of the stories that exist? If they exist, they have to exist. They, you see it all the time in movies and TV shows. So they must exist in real life. Yeah, that's how it works. Janie, you're the bad type. You get the final. You get the final goodbye before I before I sign off. So. Oh, this okay. Is you. You get, you get, um, this you get. has been great. Uh, I I have been soaking in uh, a milk and honey concoction, mm -hmm. and I'm even softer now than I was when I went in. So enjoy your night. Good night. Smile for a picture. Mm -hmm. And one more. Do you want one with bubbles? Yes, one with bubbles. Mess. Give us the bubbles. It's too bad Mikowski's not here. What? Who? What? Exactly. That's the plus statement show. Do -do 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 -do. Oop. Oop. Who's he that?